Hello everyone, my name is Sumit Kumar and welcome to my channel. In my last video, we have already learned how to send mail using SES using Python. Okay, what we have done is in last video, we have already have taken data from Redshift. We have uh, created one CSV file and we have attached those CSV file into mail and we have sent the mail. So let me go through that video. I will show you where the, that video is. So this is uh, my this video, you can go through this one. I will highly recommend it. Okay. I will highly recommend to watch this video first because once you will understand, once you will watch this video, you will understand how to configure the mail, mail and everything. So after watching this video or once your concept will be clear, you have to add the user, you have to add the mailer and everything you have to do. Once you have watched this video, then you come to this video and watch because we are going to send mail in different way we are going to send data frame as a table in mail body okay that we are going to do so let me draw the diagram here so let's suppose that you are you are having some data some weather forecast data or some report okay this is my sample data set so what we are going to do is here is my um, weather forecast data for next five days and this is my data frame okay we have created one data frame like this and this data frame as a table we have to send mail so you can do this thing using html and css you can do all those things but we will do how to convert the data frame directly into the table and and uh, send to the mail body okay so here is my data frame monday let's suppose that uh, temperature is uh, this is a high temperature, okay. This highest temperature, this lowest temperature. So highest temperature is 90 Fahrenheit. This is 52 Fahrenheit. So on Tuesday, these are data sets, okay. So in this data set, you might have called API weather API, and for calling the weather API, you have created one data frame like that, okay. I mean to say that this is just sample data set. Whatever the report maybe you have, that report, the shortest report you want to send to some uh, client. Okay, some user that need. So here my data is just to sending five days forecast data, weather forecast data. That, that is just for the example purpose. But in your real scenario, you might get some very good report. Means uh, what I mean to say is you have certain uh, values that uh, cert certain business perspective report you want to create and that if you send in excel then they have to open the excel then and then see so opening the excel and seeing that one data that is a little bit time consuming and uh, clients usually don't want to go there and open the excel and then see what and all report you are sending so in the shortest format you can give this information okay okay you can prepare one data frame and uh, one sorted table the tabular view of your report you can give to the client so that client can at least see their data if their data is already fine then they if they want they have the time to look to your excel you have attached to your mail they will open the mail and they will go through that okay but uh, for higher view for higher uh, view or on the on the described descriptive report you can send as a mail in the body okay so that is our goal so how will you send this uh, this type of mail using SES that we are going to do. So this is very simple. There is nothing much. We, I have already prepared the code, everything's ready. So what I will just show you the flow. Flow will be like this. Okay. There will be one API or source, maybe Redshift also. It will be Redshift or any S3, any source is there. You will get the data. Once you get the data, you will prepare one data frame. And after preparing the data frame in this format, let me prepare your data frame in this uh, format, and then send this data frame as a body. Okay, in the last class, we have already learned how to send the data frame as the attachment. But here we will learn how to send this uh, data as a body, mail body. Okay, you can already see this is the format. So we'll learn this one. Okay, fine. So mail configuration, everything I have done, all things are ready. So let me open this code rightly so here we are going to use pandas module to prepare the data frame and this is the module this is the package that will convert your data frame into 
table format this is a very important things then you don't have to write your html and css code to prepare a table and all that automatically it will do okay this one here you can see i have created one access key and secret key and we have i have attached ses access okay so that we can send the mail in our last video i already done these things so please watch that video and you will understand how we are uh, using this things and sending this one we have to do certain configurations so you know already like uh, if you want to access any aws services using python you have to use boto3 package module okay and here you have to write create the client and here you pass this which mod which services you are going to use so i'm going to use ses services so you have to pass ses services and here i'm not going to write i'm not writing a uh, lambda i'm writing this code here so we have to pass uh, access key and secret key and obviously you don't have to write access key and secret key uh, here has got a value you have to create one configuration file right there encrypt the, those access key and secret key and then you use it but for simplicity i am just uh, writing access key and secret key here only but this is very bad practice uh, in your real time or whenever you are writing code in production or anywhere in your company you don't do this this things okay you write it this in rem variable variable environment variable and you get data from there or you can write one configuration file you can get data from there or even if you want you can use aws secret manager service so aws providing us to manage our secret key and all so there also you can use and you can you can get it from there so there are many multiple ways are there to use this access key and secret key but this highly recommend don't use access key and secret key like this okay okay so this is i have created already this ses uh, connection here so you can see this is my function send mail i'm just passing a data frame okay the data frame it will convert that built table this module will convert the data frame into tabular format okay and the tabular format i'm keeping the the background color as blue light whatever the color you want you can uh, write there and uh, obviously you can go to the documentation and uh, you can read it what and all color color you can use as a background okay and here sender is the my mail id i'm sending to my mail and cc if you want if you have any other uh, client or anyone you want to send mail you have their email id you can send there okay so this is the subject i'm just typing subject as anything like test let it test only test okay test mail okay this sender and this is one body here in the body only we are going to write some information some word some whatever information we are going to send that you have to write so i'm just writing it below the weather uh, forecast data for the next five day or you can write in subject also it will be good to write in subject weather forecast mail okay that is fine and uh, what were things you want you can keep in uh, body okay so you can see here what i have done is i have created body one with uh, this one uh, let me open this body one is this okay and this is body that i will i will convert this uh, data frame to table format and this whole part as a body three and then i have concatenate all and uh, giving them okay you can see here. this is the body this is one body one first part this is the second part and and this is third part okay so i am just you can see it i am concatenating this so i am not going to send any attachment so i have just commented this all the code this and all code i have used in my previous video to send the data as the attachment but the, here i am not going to send that file as attachment if you want to send the file as attachment then uncomment this code okay and you can obviously you can refer to my previous video okay and here you can see the body content that we have prepared okay that we are sending it as a html and attaching this as a message and once everything is done you can see here this is simple one line code ses and then send raw mail source is sender destination and then this is uh, my raw message in raw message i am just sending message body and message body i have prepared here like this okay so all set so what is my data frame so we need to prepare data frame first right so 
obviously this is my hard coded data frame but uh, you can connect to your source using api or any database connectivity you can connect to the source take, take data once you have data you can prepare your data frame as you want okay as per requirement you can prepare your data frame but uh, for understanding purpose i'm not going to do that one i already have prepared this data frame using hard coded value okay let me run this data frame and let me do these things what is there in my data frame okay let me turn this first Okay, so this is my data frame, DF forecast. You can see this is my data frame, right? So Monday, highest temperature record is 90. It, it is in future. So like that. So Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, whatever data, whatever weather it will be there. Uh, I collected that those data into data frame and the data frame I'm sending this, this as a mail. Okay. So let me run. Hope this is very simple code and uh, hope this will help you to in your project or in your work scenario. So let me run all the things here. Okay. So done. And I will open my mail. Where is my mail? My mail is here. You can see this is my mail. And uh, if you see, this is uh, my weather forecast data. Let's see. Okay. So thank you very much. If you have any problem, you can uh, comment it and uh, I will obviously help you. And if you like this video, like it, like it. And for this type of video, please subscribe it. Thank you very much.